Now we are going to see another example of logistic regression for multi-class classification using the sklearn digits dataset. Now this is actually the official website of sklearn datasets of load digits and it is actually having data point of 8 into 8 image of a digit. It has 10 classes, sample plus classes are 180, total sample are 1797, 64 dimensionality and features is integers from 0 to 16. So by going to the link, you can see that all the parameters are mentioned here and like this digits can be visible in the data set of 8 to 8 image set. So next to make this digit set visible, what we need to do is as we have imported the matplotlib library also. So we will simply write like this plt dot gray and then we will use a for loop for i in range. 5 plt dot mat show digits image and here we're going to write i And as I execute this particular cell, here you can see the images of digit in 8 by 8 dimension and of the first 5 digits that have been displayed, that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the digits which have been displayed. Now what we have to do next is, we need to know the digits that what are the sets which are actually there. So for that we write the command dir digits so here you can see that that there is dscr data images target and the target name these are the values which are there next we want to know the digits data so we have to write like this digits dot data so here you can see an array of digits data has been return to us next what we have to do is we have to create and train a logistic regression model and then we will measure the accuracy and predicts the data and whichever things are there so for creating a model we simply write from sklearn dot linear model import logistic logistic regression and then we write like this model equals to logistic regression after that we need to import the train and test split and then we have to give the x train x test y train and y test set of datas of the digits and the digit target like where we see that that there is a digit data and there is a digit target data also so we'll write like this from sklearn dot model selection import train test split and then we will write like this x train comma x test comma y train and y test train test split and firstly we will give the digits dot data and in return we want the digits dot target and we are giving the test size also that is 0 0.2 next we need to train the model that means we need to use the fit method model dot fit 
and we need to write like this x train comma y train so this is the data which we are giving for training the model So here you can see that logistic regression a model has been trained and the data has been fed a model has made name the variable model next what we need to do is we need to measure the accuracy of our model that what is the accuracy so for testing that we will simply write like this model dot score we will give the x test comma y test So this returns us the accuracy of the model that is 95 point some percent which is very good. Next we need to predict the set of data so we will give like this model dot predict and here we will give digits dot data we are giving data and in return we will get the target. So I am giving the data from 0 to 5. And in return we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 of the array. So that means it is predicting correct only. Next what we will do, we will create a confusion matrix also. So we will write like this, y predict equals to model dot predict. And it will be predicting the x test. And then what we're going to do from sklearn dot matrices, we will import the confusion matrix and then print the confusion matrix. I'm storing it in the variable name cm. And we will create the confusion matrix from the y test and the y predict. So here you can see that this is the confusion matrix. So all the array diagonal elements which are there, it actually shows that these elements have been correctly predicted. These elements have correct prediction and the rest are the wrong prediction so basically it gives us that 27 36 34 and all such samples have been predicted correctly and rest have been improper predictions so this is all about logistic regression using a multi-class using the digits data set of sklearn library